At the beginning of the movie, we see Rivet sleeping in a prison cell. Suddenly the lights start flickering there, and during this time, we see a ghost coming near her. Rivet wakes up and was looking very scared. Suddenly we see the ghost, who was walking towards her. Seeing it, Rivet gets very scared, and the very next moment, we see that the ghost has come inside the cell and attacks her with a knife. Next, the scene shifts in the court, where we see Dr. Karina, who tells that Riva is a very cheerful girl, and she loves her family and friends very much. But something happened to her on her 21st birthday, after which she changed completely. She told that some supernatural powers were following her and trying to kill her. After this, Riva became very moody, and she started living alone. Dr. Karina being Riva's psychiatrist, confirms that Rivet is suffering from manic depression. Next, the prosecutor states that the house was locked that night, and there was no sign of anyone entering. There was blood on the body and clothes of the suspect, and neither did the suspect deny that she killed the victims. The victims are her mother, brother, and daughter, whom she loved dearly. There are marks of injury from a sharp object all over the victim's body. Although no weapon was found on the murder site, here Rivette is proving guilty. Suddenly the lights of the court are turned off, and Rivette notices that she is all alone there, which scares her a lot. Actually, Rivette was hallucinating, and everyone in the court was surprised to see this. Seeing her condition, the court decides to keep her in rehab for the time being. Upon reaching the rehab, Rivette meets Nixon, who tells her that he is the chief of this rehab, and the court has ordered him to do the complete rehab of her. He also tells her that she should not consider it as a normal rehab, as it is no less than jail. He says that we have some rules here. The one who breaks it gets punished. No phone and internet is allowed here. The time to meet the family is also limited, and no one can do anything without his permission. Here they give her a set of clothes, which she would have to wear after taking a bath. Now Riva is taking bath, where we see some marks on her body. Suddenly the lights go off, due to which Riva gets very scared, and starts looking here and there. Then she sees that a ghost girl is walking towards her, seeing that Riva starts screaming, and when staff goes to check her in the bathroom, Riva was lying unconscious there. Next, Riva's dad comes to rehab to meet her. He tells her that he is sure she hasn't done anything like this. He asks her to tell him what happened, to which Rivas says that she has told everything to him. She says that she is troubled by evil spirits. Hearing this, her father says that there is no such thing as spirits. Upon hearing this, Rivas starts crying. At night, Nixon is checking all the patients when he also goes to Rivas, who was not sleeping. He tells her that according to the rules, she should have fallen asleep by now. He says that he has read her file and knows that she is a murderer. She can fool everyone by pretending to be mentally ill, but not him. He says that he will make sure that she gets paid for what she has done. Seeing all this, he leaves from there. One day Dr. Karina comes to rehab and she meets Nixon. She tells him to take good care of Rivat and call her if anything happens. He lets Karina meet Rivat, where Karina asks her about her condition and says that if she ever needs anything, she can ask Nixon. He will help her. But Riva was terrified of what Nixon had told her that night. Next, we see Riva's friend Devi, who has come to meet her in rehab. Here Nixon meets her, asks her some questions, after which he allows her to meet Riva. Riva is very happy to see her there. She tells her that she is not mad and did not kill her family. Devi consoles her and says that she believes her and she should not be here. Riva tells her to get her out soon, as she is very scared because the evil spirits want to kill her. Devi asks her about the spirits, to which Rivet reveals that there is an old woman and a girl child spirits, who is wearing handcuffs, and they are trying to kill her. Devi is shocked to hear this, but Nixon comes there and asks her to leave. When she argues with him and says that there is still time left, they force her out, during which Rivet faints. Now we see Rivet, who is going out of her room. Suddenly she hears some sound which scares her. She sees a shadow from a corner, seeing that she closes her eyes in fear. But this was a patient who was walking playing with a toy. Rivet gets a little relaxed and comes to the dining hall. She is sitting with her food, when suddenly the lights are turned off, and she sees that the ghost is walking towards her, and then she attacks her with a knife. Seeing this, Rivet starts running, but that ghost starts chasing her. While running away, the ghost stops her, and starts moving towards her. But in reality, she was caught by the staff of rehab. Riva somehow frees herself from them and runs away. But as soon as she comes to the stairs, she sees another ghost standing there. 
She starts running away in fear of it, and comes near a door, and starts opening it, which does not open from her. The ghost then starts stabbing her with a knife, which injures her a lot, and rehab staff and Nixon cannot understand anything after seeing this. Now a few days later, Riva had recovered and is in her room in rehab, when the room lights start flickering, and she sees that ghost again. Hearing Rivet's scream, the staff checks the camera, and they see that Rivet was hanging in the air. Actually, it was the ghost holding Rivet's neck and raising her in the air. The next day Rivet's dad arrives in rehab and tells Nixon that he wants to meet Rivet. But Nixon tells him that no one is allowed to meet her. Rivet's dad argues with him and says that he wants to take her away from this place. Nixon tells him that the court has given him the power to do anything with her for her rehab. He asks Rivet's father to leave from there. Next, we see that Rivette is tied to her bed and is screaming out of fear. Then the ghost of that girl comes there and attacks Rivette with her nails. After some days, Divi comes with a man to meet Rivette. She tells her that this is a psychic and that she can explain all that she sees. Rivette tells him that she is troubled by evil spirits day and night. The psychic says that someone has opened her third eye. He does some ritual to call those spirits and then everyone disappears from there. And just that psychic and Rivet is sitting there. The psychic asks her if she can see the old lady. To which Rivet says yes, it is she who follows her. Then he asks her about that little girl. To which Rivet tells that she is the one who always scratches her. He tells her that these two evil spirits are following her. Hearing this, Rivet tells him that there is another spirit with a chain and handcuffs. As soon as she says this, that evil spirit also comes there. Seeing which the psychic also gets scared. That spirit starts moving towards them, and the psychic tries to stop her, but there is no effect on the spirit, and she attacks the psychic and throws him away. Riva and Devi run to the psychic and help him to get up. He tells Riva that someone has sent that spirit to hurt her. She must have been offered something for this work. Riva asks him to help her, to which he says that it is beyond his powers. Riva asks him if she can offer something to spirits to get rid of them. The psychic says that they cannot do this, and that he will not be able to help her. Seeing this he leaves from there. If he asks Rivet who might try to kill her, she asks her if his father maybe wants to kill her, because everyone in her family is dead except him. She secretly gives her phone, and asks her to call her if anything happens. If he starts keeping an eye on Rivet's dad, and she sees a car stops outside his house, and a lady comes out and meets Rivet's dad. Seeing them here, it seemed as if they are having an affair. After some time that lady leaves from there in her car, and Devi starts following her. Here we come to know that that lady is none other than Karina. Seeing this, Devi is very surprised and goes straight to rehab. She sneaks into the Nixon house and steals Rivet's room key. After this she goes to Rivet's room, seeing which Rivet becomes very happy. She starts escaping from there with her. They were leaving from there, when they see Nixon, so they jump into the swimming pool to hide from him. But there too Rivet sees the ghost, seeing which she gets very scared, and starts running from there. But Nixon catches her on the way. Devi does not understand anything, so she attacks him with a lug of wood lying there, and leaves with Rivet. Next, we see Rivet and Devi talking, where Devi tells her about her dad, that she saw him with Dr. Karina, and seeing them, she feels that there is some relationship going on between them. Devi takes her to a villa, where they both start having a lot of fun. They were both very happy. In the next scene, we see Dr. Karina who comes to rehab in anger, when she learns that Riva has run away. Here she learns that someone has helped her escape from there, and they hit Nixon on the head as well. The scene shifts back to the villa, where Riva wakes up, and notices that Devi is nowhere. Then she finds a note, in which Devi has written that she is going to get something to eat from the supermarket. On the other hand, Karina meets Riva and Devi's friends, and asks them for Devi's number. Here Riva is alone in the villa when the lights go off, and it gets dark. Riva sees the ghost of that girl there, due to which he gets very scared. She sees ghosts on both sides, which slowly start walking towards her. Riva goes to a room in fear, and then everything becomes normal. Devi comes back after some time where she gets a call from Karina on her phone, who asks her to return Rivad. She threatens to file a criminal case against her, but Devi ignores her words and refuses to return Rivad to her. Now Rivad and Devi get into an argument, where Rivad says that she wants to go back to rehab, as she doesn't want her to be jailed because of her, to which Devi says she doesn't care what will happen, but she will not let her go back to that place. But when Rivad insists, 
Tv decides that she will let Riva go back to rehab. After some time, Karina comes there and she starts scolding Devi, and then leaves from there with Riva. Next, we see Karina bring Riva to rehab, where Nixon was waiting for her angrily. Karina tells Nixon to make sure this doesn't happen again. He asks to take Riva to the isolation chamber, after which she is locked in the chamber. Now Riva gets scared there so she sits in a corner. On the other hand, we see Devi who secretly enters Karina's house, but then Karina comes back into the house, seeing which Devi starts hiding, and during this, she falls down the stairs. She reaches a secret room, where she sees candles burning everywhere, and there were lots of photos of Riva and her family. Outside, Karina gets a call from Riva's father, who tells her to stop coming to his house. Karina gets very upset hearing this, and says that you're seeing all this because of your wife and children. She tells him that she has already killed them. Hearing this, Rive's father gets quite shot. Karina tells him that now she will kill Rive too. Karina comes to the secret room where Devi was already hiding, and she sees that Karina is writing something in a notebook and doing some black magic there. On the other hand, the lights of Rive's chamber start flickering, and here we see the same ghost in Karina's secret room. After Karina leaves, Devi looks at her notebook, which has a spell written to kill Rivat. Rivat calls Devi, where Devi tells her that she has to escape, to which Rivat says that she cannot go anywhere, as she is in the isolation chamber. Then Rivat sees the same ghost there, who start attacking her. Karina also reaches rehab and starts walking towards Rivat's chamber. Nixon tries to stop her, but she kills him too. She goes to Rivat and orders Ghost to kill her, after which Ghost stabs Rivat with a knife. Karina is getting very happy seeing this. On the other hand, we see that Devi and Rivat's father also come to rehab, and they run towards the isolation chamber. Here Rivat tells that soul, if she attacks Karina, she will give her whatever she wants. Hearing this, that soul starts moving towards Karina, and stabs her continuously, and kills her. After some time Rivet's father and Devi also come there, and see that Karina was lying dead there. They go to Rivet and do not understand anything here. In the next scene, we see Rivet who says never to trust any evil spirit, as they are not loyal to anyone. They will help anyone who gives more, and the movie ends here. Thanks for watching.